In every hobby, there are fads of sorts. One major one in the IEM hobby is planar IEMs. A lot of noobs are tricked into thinking that planar IEMs are more detailed or whatever. But this could not be further from the truth. Planar IEMs are a complete joke. If you watched my video on multi-driver IEMs, you would know that a single driver IEM cannot have a correct bass response. It will either be too muddy or not have enough in sub-bass. Or it could be both. Seriously, anyone who recommends planar IEMs is a moron, and I feel bad for the people who buy them. But that's why I'm here. I'm here to save you and tell you the truth. And the truth is that planar IEMs are a fucking joke. Imagine thinking that because the surface area of a driver is high, it sounds good. Look, you clowns. Sound is literally coming out of a narrow tube and being projected into your ear canal. If you want a real IEM, get the Moondrop variations. There really is not any other option. It is the best IEM in the world. In the world. Yes, that is right. I said in the world. What are you going to do? Tell me the Symphonium Helios is better. The 64 Audio U12T. What a joke. The engineering marvel that the variations is will not be taught for years to come. Only Moondrop really has the potential to do it. And the only improvement left is like what? 0.5% at most. It's ridiculous how good the Moondrop variations is. You know, no matter what I listen to, music, anime, YouTube videos, shows, movies, they all sound incredible. Vocals just shine through the IMs as if the vocalists are there. The damper of everything is fully preserved. It sounds magical. I really don't think you can know what sound quality is in an IEM unless you have heard the Moondrop variations. That's how good it is. No planar IEM can do this. They will always have colored mid-range and an incorrect bass response. No planar IEM I have seen is anywhere close to the Moondrop variations. The P1 Max which I reviewed was good in upper treble, yes, but it could not touch the variations anywhere else. The S12, the Timeless, the Dioko, all of them are for idiots. Trust me, if you care about audio, buy the Moondrop Variations. It's on sale for a limited time at $468. Forget about all of the budget crap. Forget about everything more expensive. Buy this IEM. Driver technology is only a means to an end. It matters only for that purpose. If a planar IEM cannot match the frequency response of the Moondrop Variations, or even surpass it in the 0.5% that is left, what is the point? The same thing goes for electrostatic drivers or whatever. Just a means to an end. Every driver in the variations is utilized to achieve the near perfect frequency response. Planar IMs are a joke. ASMR edition. I would like to give a shout out to Miguel Angel Jimenez, Ninja Kuma 3, Hemeticus Tungaritis, Senevery, and Vsauce 4. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you want to support the realist audio reviewer, donate through PayPal to Ghania1 at gmail.com. Super chat donations in your comments or join the channel membership for $4.99 a month for a shout out at the end of each video, as well as a special role in the Discord server with text-to-speech permissions. If you want me to review a product, specify the product in your donation. If you would like to talk to people about anything audio related and much more without the fear of getting banned for no reason, join the Apple House Sound Discord server linked in the description. As usual, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with your friends. Have a nice day.